men wearing tights, scantily clad women flicking whips. No, I'm not talking about a tour through Amsterdam's red light district. I'm describing a stroll through one of the biggest events in pop culture. Like extras from Romero's Dawn of the Dead, they stand quietly outside the building, patiently peering, waiting. Finally, the signal. The doors open for the San Diego Comic Convention. 130,000 fans, more than the entire population of Savannah, Georgia, stream into the gigantic exhibit hall. Oh, it's huge. Uh, this is the second time that I've been here. Uh, and I'm just amazed by the sheer number of people who show up to this thing. It's incredible. It grew out of a fan group 30 years ago in San Diego to kind of celebrate comics. And slowly over the years, you know, Hollywood has picked up on it, video games have picked up on it. And if I say Star Wars, you say and now it's, it's kind of a gathering place of all things pop culture, whether it be comic books, movies, video games, um, every sort of thing that you might, might have a cult following, science fiction, it's all here at the San Diego Comic Con. I'm dressed as Slave Leia from Return of the Jedi. I just love how much variety there is. There's so many comics like DC, Marvel, you got anime, you got your like random little comics from the web, you know, like stuff like that. It's just cool. And it's not kids stuff. This issue of The Flash goes for more money than a Mercedes SLK 55 Roadster. Comic-Con is the best day of my life. Why so serious? 